Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to work on a little technique to create a bunch of chords as we've been doing in the key of C major, but we're going to store those chords in a library to make it easier for you to just pull the chords as you need them. So let's try this out and see if this helps you at all in building your songs. We're going to go here and build virtual instrument tracks, so I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to come up into Mixcraft. I'm going to go to my instrument track and I'm going to click in the white area to get myself going here with the sounds and the notation board. Now the first thing I'm going to do here is create a bunch of chords that will be playable on a guitar. And unfortunately when we read guitar music in general we're working on the G clef. But the reality is that those notes are actually an octave higher than what's actually played. So if I want to get the right sound for the guitar, for chords, I've got to actually come down to the bass clef and put the notes down here. So I'm going to snap to measure so I can get a whole note measure. I'm going to click on my whole note, and I'm going to start putting in my chord here. And that's a C chord. And when I play that with a guitar sound, it's going to sound pretty good. If I were to play it up in here in the G clef, it would sound a little thin. So now I'm going to go to my D and put my D minor chord and make sure that I put that in the right place. And I'll proceed here and I'll do all the chords in the scale. Okay, so I went ahead and I finished this out. Here's my C, my D minor, my E minor my F, which goes up into the G clef, my G, my A, and then my last chord, which is my B. And that's diminished. So now I'm done with this, and I'm going to just close this off because I don't need that last measure. And I've got all seven chords right here in my instrument track. Now the next thing I need to do is to go and choose the instrument that I want to play these sounds. So I'll go to acoustic guitar, and I'll come down here, and I'll choose a six string, and then I'll take a listen to this and see what I've got. Okay, so that sounds pretty good. So those are my f seven chords, all built off chords in the C major scale. Now the next thing I need to do to put these into a library I have to go up to my soundtrack and I have to add them to the library. But you'll see here that that's not possible. It's grayed out because this is still an instrument track. So we have to convert this to an audio track so that we can put it in the library. So what I have to do is come to track and I have to come down here and let's see. Well, first of all, I have to select it. So let's select this. And then I will come to track, and I will mix to new audio track. And you can see what it does. It takes that track, and it mixes it down into an audio track. Notice that I no longer have the keyboard here to change the instrument sound. The instrument sound is now embedded in stone, basically. And now it's a six string. So if I mute this and I play this, you'll see that this is in fact the guitar. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to shorten this up and then I'm going to go into each measure and I'm going to cut it with my control T so that I have all of these chords sectioned out. And you'll see that I do this here. I will go here and I will do control T. I will come here and do control T and I will come here and do control T. And then I will highlight this track, which is my C chord. I will come up to sound, and I will add that to the library. Now I'm going to put it into the imported library, and I'm going to call it a C chord. And I will add it in. Then I will come here and highlight this one, go up to sound, and add that to the library. And I will call this my D. Whoops. Let me try that again. I will call that my D minor chord and I will say okay and I will proceed through to do this 
Okay, so you can see I'm just finishing up now on the B diminished chord, and I'm going to add that in. So all of those chords are now added into my library, and if you look at the imported list, you will see that I have all of my chords here. I did a few of these before this video, but I have my C, my D minor, my E minor, F, G, A, and B. So now what I can do is, if I were to start a brand new song, and I'll go to New Project, and I no longer need to save any of this, so I will go to a new project, I will just go to a virtual instrument track, doesn't really matter what I choose there, and now I will come here to my audio tracks, and I will be able to go to my imported sounds, and I will say, okay, my song starts with a C chord. So I'll come down here, I'll get the C chord, and I will just take this C chord and put it up into my first measure. If I now want an A minor chord, I will go to the A minor, and I will put that up here in the A minor. If I want an F chord, I will put that up in the F, and G, and likewise, and so on, and I can come back to the C chord. So you can create all kinds of chord forms you can create sevenths, you can do whatever you want by using the notation, creating the chord, and then choosing your instrument flavor, and then converting it to an audio track and inserting it into your library. And from there, it's just pulling like you're pulling blocks to make a building. So I hope that helps you out, uh, creating your own little sound library of chords, and maybe that'll help you out in making your songs a little bit easier. Thanks for listening.